Hello guys, this is going to be the tutorial on how to solve a 3x3x4 fully functional. So, first off, I want to say that um, um, the way I'm going to be teaching you is first you have to solve the middle two, like a Rubik's Domino. And then what you have to do is solve the outer two, just like a Rubik's Domino also. Um, but without messing up this. And and if at the end you do get a parody, I will teach you how to solve that too. So, let's scramble. Okay, so now that it's scrambled, um, let's start solving. So, first what you have to do is create a cross right here. So you have to get this piece, this piece, and this piece, and this piece, all as a cross, kind of like you would on the side. So you get these four pieces, so you just go one row down and you get those pieces instead. So, um, so I have my red and green here. So if I'm looking at white, um, green goes to the right and red goes on top. So I have my red right there and my green right there. So now I have to get orange right here and blue is already here. So I just have to get an orange one right here. Oh, no, right here. I have to get an orange one right there. So, here's an orange one. So, what I do is I move it over and then turn that face so that it goes into its spot. So, once you create a cross, it's pretty easy. What you're going to do next is get these pieces in. So, this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. All four of them go in. So, what you have to do is look, um, find an edge and try to find it so that it's opposite so that you gotta find an edge that's on the second row, not on the top row, but on the second row. And, um, make sure that it's opposite, the colors are opposite. So if there's, so if it's, the edge is in between the, um, green and orange side, make sure that the edge is green and orange. So if it's like... Uh, well, I can't show you, but if it's like this. So I have the red and green side, and I have this edge in between it. See, the red and red are on the same side, and the green and green are on the same side. That's not what you want. You want it like this. So that the they're opposite, so that the orange is on the green side, and the green is on the orange side. So once you find that piece, put it underneath where it needs to be flipped. So this piece needs to be flipped up here. So... Put that piece um, in the to the back right here, so that you're holding it like this, and it's right here. And then do um, this algorithm. Oh wait, I'm sorry, I didn't teach you notation. But this is right, this is front, and this is down, and this is um, little d. So D, little d, um, R, F, and everything's going to be in twos, so, because you can't do this. So, it'll be R, 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 so it'll never be R2. So, anyways, so you have it back here, like there, and then you do this algorithm. And what that should have done is put that piece, should have flipped it around and put it into its spot. So now you're going to find another piece like this that's opposite. So I have red and green. And then uh, red and green. So it has to be like this. So anyways, you hold it to the back. You hold that piece back here. And do that algorithm again. And that'll flip the piece. So then you find another piece. So right here I have my uh, green, red, and blue, and red and blue. It's right here. And you put it to the back right and do that algorithm. And then you just find the last piece. But 
let's say that last, let's say that this piece you need is right in here or something. Like, one of the pieces, let's say that this piece right here is over here, and this piece, which needs to go in here, is over here. So they have to be switched. What you do is you just do the algorithm to get the piece out of there, and then you do it again to get the piece in. So, I'll show you. So, let's say I didn't need this piece in here. I didn't need that orange and green piece. I do the algorithm, and it would get that piece out of there, and it would switch it with a different piece. So then that way I can move it into its spot and do the other and do the algorithm again. But since I don't need to do that, I'm not going to. So yeah, that is how you would get it out of here. Just do it again. So, so now I have my last piece here. And there. It that should have solved one row. Um so yeah, I hope this I hope this has helped so far. So yeah, once you've solved one row, you put it on the bottom and um what you're gonna look for is something like this, where you have two two edges in the right spot. Right there. So two of the same colored edges like that. Um if you don't have any so okay, sorry. When you find two, if you have two, you match it up with the color it's supposed to go to. And you, um, you're going to do the algorithm I tell you in a minute. But if you don't have two matched up like this, what you're going to do is just, you know, take any one and match it up right there. And make sure you put it on the left, on the right, sorry, on the right. But if you do have two matched, you put them on the left. Um, and you do this algorithm. And what that should do is it should orientate all the edges. So as you can see, all of them are orientated. And now I just need to switch the center pieces. If you have all four like this, I really switch like that. What you do is you just try to match up one or two by swapping two. So you, what, there's an algorithm that swaps this piece with this piece. So it swaps it swaps two opposite pieces. So what you're gonna do is just look for pieces that can be switched and will go in the right spot. So, I can do it anyway, so if I switch this piece with this piece, the orange piece will go into its right spot, so you just do that, and here's the algorithm. And that puts the orange in, so it switches those two centers, and now you should ha only have three. And then if you do it, what you do is you have one. This, the middle one out of these three facing the right and you have so yeah you have the middle one facing the right and you do that algorithm again and what it should do is it should switch those two so now you have two solved sides and two unsolved ones so when you get this for this edge and this Sorry, the centers need to be switched.